Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and in this episode, we are getting stuck into the plumbing on the Rockster. All right, so you guys watched me last week spend a lot of time getting the subframe done on the uh, on the Audi engine, and now it's mounted in the car. Um, there are a few points that were brought up that I thought I would cover first of all while I'm getting into it. Um, one of them was these gussets that I put in. Um, I did place them incorrectly that some of you picked up. Um, I didn't sort of think about it as much, but I sort of put them in the middle of these square tubes when I should have actually stuck them to one side or the other because they'd be much stronger on one side or the other. Being in the middle is, um, is a similar issue to that of the anti-crush tubes that I put in, that basically uh, these gussets are acting straight on the middle of the wall of the, uh, of the box section rather than, than on the straight, the stronger edge. Uh, where it's tying into the side of the uh, the box as it is. As it is, it could potentially over time sort of pull the box up and pull it out. As it is, I'm not overly concerned uh, at this stage anyway because um, they are, uh, th these box sections are three mil box section. They're oversized. I could have used much lighter um, uh, box, but um, if it, I'll keep an eye on it and, I, and if it becomes an issue, I can uh, always reinforce it quite easily later. I quite possibly will put some extra gussets around the um, the base of the frame. I'm just leaving it for now because I'm going to see what uh, what room I need for the plumbing, etc. Um, another thing that, that uh, came up as a suggestion, which I didn't actually really know, and I, somebody mentioned in the comments, was um, people were asking me why I only did sort of uh, short runs of welds around these gussets. Um, I've sort of done three welds instead of just welding the whole thing. Um, I was always sort of more under the impression that uh, welding in section stitch welding was better uh, mostly just because it saves time and weld and um, uh, similar to speed holes that you don't actually need a solid run because um, the uh, it, it's it's strong enough as it is just being in sections but um, which is part of it obviously but the uh, uh, one of the big benefits that I didn't think about until somebody brought up in the comments was uh, that uh, one of the reasons for doing little sections of weld is that if a crack does start, if there's a solid weld, the crack will generally follow along the entire weld, whereas if there's only sections, it can stop, similar to um, having a, uh, a rounded corner when you're cutting something, as opposed to having a, um, a square corner. A square corner gives a point where, where a crack can start, whereas a round, there's nowhere easy for a crack to start, and a similar sort of idea with the stitches of welds. So. Um, that is, uh, that is basically where I am with that, but uh, for now, let's go and have a look at what I've got to do about connecting this radiator. So, being under the car here, my initial challenge today is to try and get these two radiator pipes uh, connected up to the radiator outlets of the Audi engine, which are both up here. So, I've got to try and get some plumbing down this side of the engine around and connect up to those two tubes. And then, I also have the, these two heater outlets that are right here, right close to the uh, subframe, I've got to get them around and I'm thinking I probably want to try and put them around the other side because the outlet for the heater is right on the top of the engine at the back so it's probably easier to run them one side and the radiator lines this side. But uh, yeah, that's going to prove to be an interesting challenge. All right, so I've spent a lot of time now going backwards and forwards, trying to work out how I'm going to run um, the tubes going to, to and from the radiator. Um, I've got a bit of uh, aluminium tube here, 40 mil that I am using, and a bunch of raceworks, uh, sort of silicon bends and stuff. And um, I am, I've got the, uh, the bead roller here, rolling a, um, a bead into the end of these tubes so that uh, when I, I can put some silicon joiners on here and clamp them down and uh, they won't go anywhere, won't pop off and uh, lose all my coolant. So uh, 
I think I've got uh, a direction to go now. So it's a matter of now of trying to cobble things together and see if I can make the, uh, the radiator lines fit. All right, this is really slow and tedious, but I managed to go over and pinch the, uh, all the Raceworks silicon bends from the Alfa Rari that I previously had, and uh, I've cobbled them together. So this is, uh, this is actually the line to the radiators on the, uh, on the left-hand side of the car. Um, I've put a couple of bends, cut a couple of tubes, and, uh, and wrapped it around so it's gonna come up uh, the side of the engine wrap over the top of this engine mount and uh, and come over to this point here. So I need two more 90 degrees, 190 degree here, 190 degree up here. Uh, so I have one side pretty much worked out. It's taken a lot of, uh, uh, of working and even as it is, it still sits just lower than my subframe there. But the fact is, is that I just have no space in this corner to get the hoses through. So I've got enough room in here for one hose and enough room in here for one hose sort of tucked in through the, uh, the triangle of the frame. As you can see there, it's all really, really tight. So um, I've got to try and uh, cobble together what I need for this side now. I'm pretty sure um, that should be a little bit more straightforward, but it's still tight. So I've been working for hours here, uh, working out the ducting of all the radiator plumbing. And this is the inlet to the water pump. So the, the pipe's got to come from this outlet from the radiators around this corner, up around, uh, up over here and up to the, uh, oh, sorry, up into to, to the, the water pump, which is the, uh, the fitting back in the back here. Um, what I need to put along this section, I've got to make the pipe sort of come out and around down here. But in this area here, I have to actually make it join up to this pipe here. So I've got to put a T-piece. I'm going to make up my own uh, little aluminium or Y-piece, you, you might put it, uh, to connect up to this, which is actually the expansion tank. So uh, I'm going to custom make that now out of aluminium. I really love being able to weld aluminium. Being able to make something like this so quickly and easily is, uh, is really a game changer. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with these welds if this will actually focus on it. Um, at least on that side. Yeah, the other side's not as pretty. But uh, this is going to do the job quite nicely and quite quick and easy to make up. So um, I'm actually now waiting on the rest of the parts. So this video will actually jump forward a week uh, right now and uh, I'll see you in a week when I've got the rest of the bits All right, so here we are a week later and um, I have got a big box of bits and pieces from Racework So uh, hopefully I've got most of the plumbing I need to get this thing going. Uh, I can now put in my uh, Y piece tube to uh, connect things up. So let's start patching things together and we can get stuck in. Let's go. All right, so as you can see here, we have the two lines uh, to the radiator coming down. They come either side of my subframe. One wraps around the end. I'm probably gonna cut off the end of this subframe on an angle and cap it in. And uh, this one comes around, wraps around underneath uh, the sump of the engine on the inside of the subframe. It goes, it has to go up and loop around 
and then back up around again to get back into the engine. There was no other way to fit it in there. This one goes down here. My T-piece is up in here. As you can see, Y-piece comes off. It goes across there, wraps around, and then goes into the uh, expansion tank. So that's all connected up. And the next thing we're gonna have a look at, we'll come over this side. Here is my power steering pump. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see if I can salvage the pipes from the Audi and see if they will actually fit to join up to the lines um, from the Porsche. I love how easily this car matches up. So this is the uh, pressure line going to the power steering and a, the Audi line bolts straight in and with a little bit of bending, I managed to get the, uh, I just had to bend this uh, end a little bit and it bolts straight up to back up to the power steering pump. So that's perfect on that side. On the other side, I've got the, uh, this is the uh, low pressure feed side and I just have to step down the fitting because the uh, hose sizes are slightly different. But this is the low pressure feed line over here. Gonna make it really easy. I'm just gonna turn up a, a quick little adapter and on the lathe and uh, we should be able to connect up the uh, power steering should be all sorted. Not the, uh, the prettiest piece around, but um, that will definitely do the job. Um, I've got uh, the right size to fit a hose on either end. That'll fit onto one end there, and on the other end, another hose on here, so I can join up that power steering. It's a low pressure side, so that's all going to be perfect to do the job. I love being able to just whip this stuff up, and I'm learning as I go. And I left my key in the chuck again. Uh! All right, we actually have a radiator and power steering all hooked up, ready to go. I still have to do the heater hoses. I'm waiting on some of the, um, there's like uh, quick release clips that are on the back of the Audi engine that connect up the heater hoses. And uh, they were both old and perished and, and broke when I pulled it out. So uh, I'm waiting on delivery of those. Um, I still have to do the fuel and vacuum stuff, which is um, a few more bits, but the water side and power steering, I'm stoked at how easy that power steering was. That was great. So uh, I'm so glad I didn't have to mess around with anything else. We're really, uh, we're really powering through this. Um, as I mentioned, there are a few more things I'm gonna do to this subframe to tidy it up. Uh, that will be further down the line. I'm not in a screaming hurry at the moment. It's in the car. Let's get everything connected up and uh, see what we can do about working on getting this car running. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this. Um, join us on Patreon, watch these videos a day early and uh, it does help us out. And if you need to buy parts for any of your Porsches, make sure you compare prices at PorschePartsByJeff.com first. All right, guys, see you next time.